Hey everybody, welcome back to Project Spatial. I am Katie Scheuer and I am here to increase your spatial impact. And today I am talking about the question that I get asked at all the time. Do I need a degree? <laughs> and I understand why a lot of people are asking this because you're trying to figure out, you know, should I go to college? Should I invest that money in a degree to be able to get a position? I'm gonna answer probably an answer that you're not going to like to hear. It, depends. You need to start with the end in mind. So what is your goal? Like, what do you want to do with GIS? Do you want to work in the environmental industry? Do you want to use GIS in a data science capacity where you're working with health data or customer data and a big organization, part of a data science team? That is a totally different skill set than if you're working in the public sector, you know, public works department, doing asset management, working on road pavement, street signs, all of that sort of thing. So what do you wanna do? What's your end goal? Once you figure out what kind of work you wanna do and what your end goal is, then you can decide, do you need a degree to be able to get that job? With most GIS jobs, and I'm speaking in general terms here, but most GIS jobs, yes, you will need a bachelor's degree. Do you need a bachelor's degree in GIS? Not necessarily. I have a bachelor's degree in geology. Did I use GIS for my final project in geology, studying rivers? Yes, I did. And that's how I started my passion for GIS, and that's how I got into the industry. But my actual degree is in geology. It's not even in geography. So you don't need to have that degree in the particular industry, but you typically do need to have a bachelor's degree. It's kind of a minimum required for most places. You can have a GIS certificate that is going to enhance just about any degree that you get out there. So if you get a degree that is in communications and marketing, or if you're looking at business, having a GIS certificate is just going to give you that many more tools to enhance that degree. Also, if you're getting a degree in urban studies or you're getting a degree in physical geography or environmental services, all of those degrees will be enhanced with a GIS certificate because it shows you how to communicate with spatial data, how to use data to analyze your system and make those connections that you can only make geographically. All of those things will get enhanced with a certificate or a minor if you want to go for your minor. But here's the thing, if you want to really dive in to something where you're doing programming or developing and you want to focus on GIS apps, when you're focusing on those computer skills, it actually helps to have a computer science degree. That can be completely different than a geography degree. And all of these different degrees are going to point you in different industries. How do you know once you figure out kind of what industry you want to be in or what you want to do with GIS, how do you know if that industry requires a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or even a doctorate? You know because you again start with the end in mind. Look at the job descriptions. Go on Indeed or Google or anything that is a job search that's local to you. Type in the industry that you're looking for and type in GIS and see what positions come up. If you don't find it by typing in GIS, because our industry is so good at not saying GIS anymore, trying to use different terms like spatial or geospatial or even just analysis, data analyst, but they use spatial information in there. You might need to throw in all those different keywords mixed in with your industry keywords to be able to find the right positions for you. But once you find two, three, maybe more job positions that are interesting to you, things that you would actually want to do if you got a degree, look at the description and see what are the essential requirements. What are they requiring? Not what they want, but what are they requiring you to have? Do you have to have a bachelor's degree or can you have four years of experience and no degree? Try to figure out what are they looking for and then use that skills list 
of the requested information and absolutely the required information to develop your education program. This way you have something that is customized to the industry that you want and the jobs that you are looking for. If you do it this way, you will not waste the money in college that you don't have to spend. You will not waste your time and energy getting a degree that you find out that you didn't need or you wanted to go into a particular industry but you got a geography degree and now that geography degree doesn't do anything for you in that industry. It will just save you a lot of pain and effort to do a little bit of research ahead of time and figure out, do you like customer data? Do you wanna work with big data sets? Do you wanna work with remote sensing and fly drones? Do you want to work in public sector and help people decide where to vote? What do you wanna do in the industry? And then focus on that. And you will be able to figure out if you really do need that degree or should you be getting experience in the industry? And that experience after you get a few years will translate into a GIS position with maybe just a certificate. All of these are good questions and they're all up to you personally, but I would really love to know where are you in this? Have you already established your degree and did that help you get a job? Or are you still looking? Let me know down in the comments below where you are and whether you have a degree or don't have a degree. If you have a job in GIS, please state like what industry you work in you will help so many people that are trying to figure this out yet and trying to figure out do i need to spend thousands of dollars so i hope this was really helpful for you guys if it was please give this video a like and subscribe i am going to have some amazing content coming up i'm so excited to like share it with you all towards the end of this month i'll see you guys soon bye